What's up guys, welcome back. The last video I put in a 32 inch LED bar. This time I'm adding more LEDs. Today I'm actually gonna be putting in some ditch lights. I have two spots and I have two floods, as well as the mounting hardware, the extender brackets, and the wiring harness. Again, special thanks to Oxbeam for sponsoring this video as well. Mounting the ditch lights is actually really easy. All it is is just two bolts. So we have the bracket right here, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna go right here where these bolts are at. So we'll just take off one bolt at a time, replace it with the mount, and then the LED pods are gonna mount onto here, and I'm gonna use that extender bracket so that I can fit both the pods on. Now the reason that we do one bolt at a time on these ditch lights is because there's actually a track up in here and if you take both bolts out at the same time it's gonna be a lot harder to get that track back into the places it needs to be for those bolts to go back in. So there's just the two 12 millimeter bolts so we're gonna take off one at a time, replace it as I mount in the bracket. You're also gonna have to pop this hose out. All this hose is, is just the windshield wiper fluid. So just pop this part out and you can get to this back screw. Okay, so we have the ditch lights on the extension brackets. All that's left to do now is wire these up. So there's the two cables coming out right here. We have the floodlight as well as the spotlight. The nice thing about the pods is you can adjust them to however you want. So if I want the spots going forward and the floods going out to the side, I can angle them so that the spots hit the sides and then the floods go out forward. Now the job is mostly done. All we have to do is finish up the wiring, but I also need to jump garages, so. And we're back. Okay, let's get to the wiring. So like I said, the wiring harness goes up to here, has a connection there, and then it goes over to there and it falls just short. There's the connection there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an extra wiring harness, I'm gonna solder it onto there, as well as add a connection onto here. That way I can have both pods on the same wiring harness so that one switch will light up all four pods. Okay, so we have the wiring harness here. And we have, after soldering, we have two positives and two negatives. That's gonna run to the positive and the negative of each one of the ditch lights. And then same thing on the other side. Looks exactly like this. The last thing I need to do are put some male connectors on the end of the ditch lights so that they can plug into the female connector of the wiring harness. So one of the things that I was worried about in wiring up all four ditch lights to the same wiring harness was the amperage. I was worried that it was gonna overload the circuit. So I checked on Oxbeam's website and each one of the ditch lights actually only pulls about 18 watts. Now amperage equals watts divided by voltage. So if each one of the ditch lights is running 18 watts each, 18 times four is 72, divide that by the 12 volt battery that it's being powered by, it's only pulling about six amps. So it's really nothing to worry about. Okay, so the male and female connectors are on there. The ditch lights are wired up. All that's left to do is flip the lights on and angle them however you want and then tighten those screws back down. And here they are on. Honestly, for the price, guys, I'm really impressed with the lights. All right, so out here in complete darkness, this is with nothing on. This is the 32 inch. These are the spots and floods. And this is a combination of both. And that's with no headlights. Flip the headlights on, adds a little bit more. There's the brights, as well as the fogs. Thanks 10 for watching guys. Again, special thanks to Oxbeam for sponsoring this video. I will leave a link to the LED pods down in the video description below, so go check them out. If you're looking for some LED lights that are not crazy expensive, but still actually pretty solid lights, Check out Oxbeam. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys around.